Ah, there you are. Hi, welcome to another edition of Willis Garage. As you all know from previous videos, I have gotten myself the Tormek T4 water-cooled sharpening system and I have done an unpacking and assembly of the machine and I have bought different kinds of jigs for the machine. This is the SVS50 multi-jig. It's a small jig but it packs a punch because it can sharpen multiple tools. This jig is for sharpening turning skew chisels, parting and beading tools, roughing gouges and straight carving gouges. So this is a powerful jig. Let's do the unpacking and the testing of it and see if I can get a hang of it. Okay, let's open it up. I have to see the instruction manual. As I said, this is a multi-jig, so it can uh, sharpen multiple tools. The first tool I'm going to try to sharpen is this roughing gouge. I also have this skew chisel, which I'm going to try to uh, sharpen. And I have this regular chisel to sharpen the roughing gouge. We need to use the tool like it is. Here, the roughing gouge goes inside like so. And we just uh, fasten it like so. This jig can be used in uh, both directions on the grinding stone, like so, and also up here, like so. But I'm going to try to use it down here. So I need to take out this universal support. To find the correct angle for my chisel, I'm going to do it by freehand, adjusting this in and out and just looking in on the side to see the angle. As you see on the side here you can see with which angle you want. This angle is too steep. I want it to be like approximately like this. Here I can see a small gap in the top of the edge angle. That way I want the universal support to go a bit out. I'm using the micro adjustment screw to get a perfect angle. There I have the perfect angle. I'm tightening the universal support knobs. Just checking the angle once again. Yeah, and I can see it's uh, quite perfect. Now it's just to start the wheel. I can really notice a difference in the edge here. I can see that it's much sharper than it was before. To take off the beveled edge, which now is uh, microscopically in the front here, we just turn the universal support. So I do the same adjustment that I did with the grinding stone. Just find the angle. Start the Tormek. Oh yeah. Now I know that this tool is very sharp and I really like this uh, jig. Let's move on to the other tool type. I'm using the jig in the same configuration to sharpen this straight edge chisel. Just putting the chisel in like so and attaching it straight to the jig here and here. When you're attaching the straight edge you need to be sure, or pretty sure at least, that the edge of the tool is lying flat with the edge of the jig. Let's turn over the universal support. Now again we need to find the right angle. We do that by spotting on the side and adjusting the universal support. 
I'm pretty happy with that. I must say that there is a tool that can help you with uh, these adjustments that I'm doing now. It's this tool and it's called the TTS100. Here you can adjust the angle out from the universal support. I am going to buy this uh, later, but for now I'm just doing it by uh, using my eyes. That also works good. Perfect. On this tool I'm just using the leather wheel FY freehand. I'm very happy with how this tool turned out also. Now let's move over to the skew chisel. To get the correct angle on the skew chisel we need to use this attachment on the jig. Take out this knob and remove this. Then we need to put this with the copper fitting here down into this adjustment knob hole, like so. And you can attach it by screwing this, like so. Now we have the ability to make different angles on this. The chisel itself goes inside here. Like so. And now I need to find the angle. This edge is straight with this edge and the wheel, and also we have to find the angle on this side, adjusted like so. The first thing I want to do is to find the angle this way. Because I don't have the TTS100, you can take a pencil or a permanent marker, put it against the universal support, be sure to have a straight angle here, uh, and make a mark on the stone. Now I know that this mark has the same angle as the universal support. Now I can find the angle on the multi jig. I'm going to take this a bit out again. Put the jig where I'm going to use it. Rotate your wheel till you see the line. Be sure that your multi jig is pressed up on the universal support. Now you can adjust the angle like so. You can see I'm getting close. I think I'm happy with this angle. Looks very good. Now you see I have a straight angle all the way through the tool. To find the angle on this side I'm going to do that like I did with the other tools. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Be sure to always have this tool all the way up to the universal support. Have it up there all the time and just press this down at the same time and just smoothly take it from side to side. To take the other side of the skew chisel, just turn the tool around. Taking it off and doing the leather wheel by freehand. Okay, there you have it. That was the unpacking, the assembly and the test of the SVS50 multi-jig. I tried it out on a roughing gouge, on a skew chisel and a normal chisel. 
I really like this tool. It's a bit more manual than some of the other jigs and that's what I like about it. Especially I liked it for the straight chisel and the roughing gouge. Not so sure about the skew chisel, but that may change when I buy the Tormek Turning Tool Setter TTS100, which you can use to set all the angles. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really would like you to subscribe, like, dislike or comment if you have anything you want to say. Down below you have all the links you need if you want to support me for Instagram, Facebook and website. So that's it. Until next time, goodbye.